Hi, it's Jamie here from PMG Funds. This video is designed to provide a quick overview of the new PMG Investor Portal. The video is not designed to be a step-by-step -step manual of how to fully navigate the portal, but rather a quick overview. Registering for the portal. All active PMG investors will receive an email from us inviting them to register for the PMG Investor Portal. This communication will include instructions However, a brief description of this process is as follows. Go to pmgfunds.unitregistry.co.nz and click on register now. Here you'll be requested to enter some information including your investor number, personal name, date of birth and IRD number. Note these are your personal details, not the information about your account. Then click on register. After clicking on register, an email will be sent to your registered email address to enable you to complete the registration process. The email you will receive will contain a link that is used to confirm your email address and will allow you to set up a password and security questions for accessing the portal. After you've entered those and submitted them, you'll then be able to log on to the investor portal. Logging into the portal. To log into the investor portal, you'll be required to enter your PMG investor number along with the password you selected when registering. Note you may also have to enter the answers to some security questions. Welcome to the PMG investor portal. The portal design displays a navigation menu on the left and general information in the center of the screen. The dashboard menu. This is where you access information about your portfolio, including the details of the people associated with the account and details of your investments. This is the display you will see every time you log into the portal. We'll go into this information in more detail shortly. Profile. This menu item displays the information about you as an investor. It includes name, date, birth, address, contact information, your investor number, PIR rate, IRD number, and who your investment relationship manager is. Information that displays as blank or unknown is missing information, and if we need this from you, we'll give you a call. If you believe some of this information needs to be updated, please contact the PMG team. Transactions. This is where you can see the details of all of your transactions, including purchases, sales, and distributions made. Here you can choose what is displayed by filtering on portfolio, if you have more than one, the dates you would like to see transactions for, there are predefined date ranges, or you can choose your own, and the investments you would like to see the transactions for. That's here, here, and here. You can also download transactions to PDF or Excel by clicking on these buttons. Documents. Here you can find the documents we have sent to you, including copies of application forms, distribution statements, change of details forms, and other communications such as quarterly reports and property loan. These documents are accessed by clicking on the link. Form requests. There is nothing displayed here at present, in time, this will display any forms that you have submitted to us via the investor portal. And finally, contact. This provides you with details of how you can contact us if you have any questions. Back to the dashboard view. As mentioned earlier, this is the view in which you can see information about your portfolio, including details of the people associated with the account and of your investments. There are five submenus here, all of which provide additional information. These are details, bank accounts, contacts, correspondence, and forms. The details tab displays information and graphics about your investments, including the number of units, the current unit price, and the current value of each of your investments. It also displays the total investment value and information on average return per unit average annual return, any unrealized capital gains in dollars and as a percentage. These are average returns across all of your investments. 
You will also see that there are eye icons beside each calculation which provide more information about these calculations. If you have any questions on how these returns are calculated, please contact your investor relationship manager. From the dis this display, you can also look at each individual investment by clicking on the View Details button. Here you can see additional information and graphics about each of your individual investments. Bank accounts. This tab displays the bank accounts associated with the account and the bank account for distributions. Contacts. This displays the contacts on the account, their role and communication preference. By clicking on the details button, you can see all of the details relating to that contact. Correspondence. This displays distribution statements for the investor. These can be downloaded by clicking on the document reference number here. And finally, forms. This is where you can complete an online application for an additional investment. In the top right-hand corner of the portal, there is a menu that allows you to perform some other functions on your portal account. There are options to view details of your account, change your password, reset your security questions, or to log out of the portal. Thanks for watching this video, and I hope you've found it helpful. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to contact your PMG Investor Relationship Manager.